increased thirst, polydipsia or PD, and excessive urination, polyuria or PU, often go hand in hand, abbreviated as PUPD. Increased thirst often go unnoticed, especially in a household with more than one pet. Don't assume changes in water consumption and urination patterns are a normal aging change. They can be early signs of many clinical diseases and warrant a medical investigation. What are the causes of PUPD in pets? In felines, common causes of PUPD are kidney disease, diabetes mellitus, and hypothyroidism. In dogs, common causes include diabetes mellitus, diabetes insipidus, Cushing syndrome, and kidney disease. There are less common causes such as rare psychogenic disorders, pyometra, and even low protein diets. Some medications also cause this, such as commonly prescribed glucocorticosteroids and diuretics. How is PUPD diagnosed? A thorough medical history and physical exam are especially important in the diagnosis of PUPD in our pets. Your vet will likely start by performing an invaluable and relatively inexpensive test known as a urinalysis or a urine test. The best time to collect a urine sample is in the morning during the pet's first potty break. Your vet will decide if a cut, urine sample, or one via needle, known as cystocentesis, is best. Urine collected by cystocentesis provides a sterile sample that is not contaminated with bacteria on the skin or in the lower urinary tract. Cystocentesis collection often involves a brief ultrasound of the bladder for accurate collection. In addition to the urinalysis, a serum biochemistry panel with electrolytes and a complete blood count will likely be needed. Based upon the results, radiographs or additional testing for specific diseases may be recommended. What is the treatment for PUPD? Remember, excessive urination and drinking are not illnesses, but symptoms of many diseases. The appropriate treatment depends upon the underlying cause. 